Why today's housing inventory proves the market isn't headed for a crash. Whether or not you owned a home in 2008, you likely remember the housing crash that took place back then. And news about an economic slowdown happening today may bring up those concerns back to the surface. While those feelings are understandable, data can help assure you the situation today is nothing like it was in 2008. One of the key reasons why the market won't crash this time is the current undersupply of inventory. Housing supply comes from three key places. One, current homeowners putting their homes up for sale. Two, newly built homes coming onto the market. And three, distressed properties, short sales, or foreclosures. For the market to crash, you'd have to make a case for an oversupply of inventory headed to the market and the numbers just don't support that. So here's a deeper look at where inventory is coming from today to help prove why the housing market isn't headed for a crash. Current homeowners putting their homes up for sale. Even though housing supply is increasing this year, there's still a limited number of existing homes available. Based on the latest weekly data, inventory is up 27.8% compared to the same week last year. But compared to the same week in 2019, it's still down by 42.6%. So what does this mean? Inventory is still historically low. There simply aren't enough homes on the market to cause prices to crash. There would need to be a flood of people getting ready to sell their homes in order to tip the scales towards the buyer's market. And that level of activity simply isn't there. Newly built homes coming onto the market. There's also a lot of talk about what's happening with new construction homes today. And that may have you wonder if we're overbuilding. But home builders are actually slowing down their production right now. To avoid repeating the overbuilding that happened leading up to the whole housing crisis, builders are reacting to higher mortgage rates and softening buyer demand by slowing down their work. It's a sign they're being careful about not overbuilding homes like they did during the bubble. Distressed properties, short sales, or foreclosures. The last place inventory can come from is distressed properties, including short sales and foreclosures. Back in the housing crisis, there was a flood of foreclosures due to lending standards that allowed many people to secure a home they couldn't truly afford. Today, lending standards are much tighter, resulting in more qualified buyers and far fewer foreclosures. So the bottom line is, although housing supply is growing this year, the market certainly isn't anywhere near the inventory levels that would have caused prices to drop significantly. And that's why inventory tells us the housing market won't crash. So if you have any questions about selling your home or trading up to a new home, feel free to give us a call anytime at 602-920-0306. We can help you make the right decision for whatever you decide to do. We appreciate you for your friendship, referrals, and for trusting us with your real estate needs. Take care and make it a great day from Romero & Company at the Melcher Agency.